Howdy ho stampers! Today we're going to learn how to do a very simple card. The um, technique that's going to be in here has to do with the roller wheels and I learned this technique yesterday so I wanted to kind of share it with you. This is one of the cards I did for my Diva Day. Uh, very simple but I wanted to highlight this new uh, roller wheel that we have in the mini catalog and it's going to be gone in a little while so I wanted to show you that it's not just for Halloween. So here's the card. We started our base card off. It's crumb cake that's eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at uh, four and a quarter. That's our base card. Then I have the next layer, which is uh, early espresso, and that is five and a quarter by four. And then our next layer is going to be the crumb cake, which is three and a quarter by five. And the technique that I wanted to show you has to do with the roller wheels. So let me just get out a piece of grid paper and I can show you kind of what I'm talking about here on the grid paper. A lot of people have a hard time uh, getting their rollers to stay straight. Well, what um, Linda Bennett, who is one of my awesome teammates, showed us yesterday, I thought this was the best thing. She said to put your roller wheel down and then put the handle down too so that the whole thing is laying completely on your cardstock. And then you just take your hand and roll it along. And when you do that, it literally makes the rolling go straight. So let me just show you on the piece of cardstock. So here's our cardstock. I'm going to ink this up with my early espresso. I'm going to lay it off of the paper right where I want it to be. And I'm going to lay it flat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it along, and as I drag it along, the handle's going to stay, and we have an extremely straight piece. Isn't that amazing? Linda Bennett, you are awesome. So the next thing that I did for the card was to take a piece of ribbon, and I just adhered that to the back. Now the nice thing about this, this wheel is there is no right side up or upside down. Um, I like using it both ways. So in our sample, I used it going down, and on the card that I'm making, I'm actually using it going up. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere that to uh, my early espresso piece. And then that is going to go on to our crumb cake piece. And the next thing that we're going to do after we had, we put this together is we're going to make this fun little piece up on top and it's just a bunch of punches put together to make a really neat little topper. So the first thing that I need is some scrap paper and I'm going to take it I'm going to punch one decorative label punch out of the early espresso. The next one that I'm going to punch is my adorable new little um, one and one quarter inch scallop punch. I'm going to punch two of those. And then I'm going to punch um, a one and three eighths inch early espresso. And then I'm going to stamp the word always from the affections collection. And this one is also going to be gone pretty soon, so you'll want to make sure you get it before it's, it is gone. It's a nice little Valentine's Day one, but this one here can be for anything. And I'm just going to take it, I'm going to stamp that with my early espresso ink. And then just punch it out with the one and one quarter inch circle. And I did this one in, uh, I just wanted to keep everything the same color. So this one I'm actually punching out um, with the crumb cake. Okay, so here's all of our pieces. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put them all together to make this adorable little, um, this little focal point right here. So I'm going to take my two scallops and put them on either side. And it looks like we're using pop dots, but the only thing that's going to be popped is the entire piece onto the card itself. But all of these, they have dimension because there's going to be so many layers to it. Then we'll take our crumb cake, or in this case it was very vanilla, um, and we're just going to add that to the piece right there. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my early espresso again, and I'm going to take my little heart punch and just punch out a little heart 
and I'm going to take and we're going to put some adhesive on that. Whoops, I forgot my, there we go, right, just like that. And then I'm just going to take my um, dimensionals and add that to the back of this. Take those off. Add it to your card. And you can add it anywhere that you want. I'm just going to add it kind of in the middle. And then you can make your bow. You can do either a fork bow, which I did here, or we can just make a regular bow, which to me is a little bit harder. I love doing my fork bows. But we're just going to take and put this together like this for now. You can get a fork bow so much smaller. But I'm just going to put this together like this for now. I'm going to use my fabric scissors to trim it off. There we go. Trim off the ends here. And just put a little bit of snail adhesive right here. And here we have two different versions of the same card. Well, I hope you liked my post and I hope you loved that new technique. Thank you, Linda Bennett. You're awesome. Have a good day.